Should you get a second generation Lexus IS250? Stay tuned, I'm gonna let y'all know what I think. What's good y'all, it's Mark. Welcome back to the channel. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you guys are contemplating getting a second generation Lexus IS250. And I'm here to let y'all know what I think about that. And if y'all know, may not know, I actually drive a 2012 Lexus IS250 F Sport and it's in the ultrasonic blue color I believe that's what it's called but it's blue It's the factory blue color and this is actually my second second generation IS250 the first one I had was silver it was a 2008 and that actually got totaled about 10 months into me having it um, but if y'all want I could do a little story time on that to tell y'all what happened with that but yeah right now I'm driving a 2012 Lexus IS250 F Sport so, you know, I have some thoughts on them and what I think of them and whether or not I would recommend them to somebody. So, like I just said, I've had two Lexus IS250s, the second generation, for about three years now. I had the first one for about 10 months and then the one I have now that I still do currently have that I named Lila. I've had for a little bit over two years now, about two years and two months. So, I'm going to go over some good stuff, some bad stuff, and, you know... Who this car is for you know so got my trusty phone right here in the notes app and we'll just knock it down one by one the good stuff the bad stuff and then continue on from there all right so number one it's a Lexus which means it's a Toyota which means super reliable super reliable I am currently at about a hundred and fifteen thousand miles on my car I've driven about 20-ish, uh, 25,000 total miles in the past two years, which isn't too much. It's my daily. It's my only car right now, and it's held up perfectly fine. I ha haven't had to do any major maintenance things, you know, obviously the oil changes and all those stuff that you have to regularly do. I've done those on time, everything. So other than that, nothing's breaking down. Even with my other car, the first one, other than it getting total, obviously, everything was fine. Super reliable. I haven't had any problems whatsoever with the any of the two IS250s that I've had so far so definitely one of the strong points is the reliability I've seen some of these cars upwards of 200,000 even close to 300,000 miles still running strong so if you need a daily car super reliable this can definitely be it good reason number two if y'all are like me and probably like a lot of other people who are in the Lexus community you want to mod your car, you want to make your car personal, you want to make it your own, right? But in order to do so, you need that aftermarket support. You need companies to be making products that you can put onto your car to make it your own. Now, obviously you have the communities like the 370s, the Subarus, where their aftermarket support is through the roof. It's crazy. Now, the Lexus aftermarket um, community isn't as big as that per se but it's still there it's still pretty pretty big there's definitely some manufacturers and stuff like that who are dedicated to lexus it's just not on the same level as some of these other car communities right but if you want to make the car personal and you want to throw modifications on it there is definitely a platform it's definitely a good platform it's definitely a good scene outside of oem stuff where you can make it unique you know obviously other than wheels tires suspension stuff like that fitment industries <laughs> watch them a lot um there's a lot of other body parts and stuff like that that you could definitely do that will make it unique so that's definitely a positive there is definitely an aftermarket support for this vehicle so if you want a car that you can mod a little bit and do a little things here and there to make it look a little bit you know your little touch of flavor you could definitely do that with the Lexus IS, especially the second generation. Still do a lot of stuff to them. Another good reason, number three. Numero tres. It looks really good, and maybe this is a little biased just because I've had two of them, but the, the first generation IS, the IS300, beautiful car. The second gen IS, beautiful car. The third gen, beautiful i love lexus they look really great really dope and especially with like i said in the previous point 
the aftermarket support is pretty good so you can make them look really good and really unique so that's one of the pluses too they just look really sleek the body design everything just looks really nice and it doesn't really look outdated you know especially when you do stuff to them they don't look outdated at all that one was simple number three really simple looks really good number four on the good reasons of owning an is250 they're cheap especially right now when i bought my car a few years back obviously the price was a little bit higher just a little bit just because you know two years ago so me just going on auto trader or car guru and searching up is250 between 2006 and 2013 you see a lot of hits they've made a lot of these cars and honestly the price that you can get them for right now is definitely a lot cheaper than how they were 10 years ago or when they came out me just doing a quick little search on auto trader oh my god you could find some with high mileage you know 200,000 180,000 for less than five thousand dollars or give or take a few thousand you know around that five thousand dollar mark you could find some and 200,000 miles does sound scary but like I said with the first point this is a very reliable car as long as there's a maintenance history and you know you do your maintenance stuff on time and use reliable good parts the car will last a long time so 200,000 miles is like the car is just starting to walk you know just breaking it in pretty much so that's definitely a good thing and if not if you're scared of that 200,000 miles or something like that or higher mileage cars you can find some for a hundred thousand give or take or even lower for around ten thousand dollars so you can find a really decent second gen Lexus IS 250 for dirt cheap dirt cheap you just got to find them you can find them for dirt cheap aftermarket is dirt cheap if you want it to be eBay <laughs> so definitely a plus you could find a really good one for less than ten thousand and if you don't mind the higher mileage less than five thousand can't beat that really good reason number Five. the community for Lexus is it's a dope community you know I follow a lot of the pages and stuff like that on Instagram for like Lexus communities like Lexus society Lexus Elise Bay Area Lexus stuff like that and you just see the support and how positive people are you know a lot of the times that people who like hit me up or even comment on my posts and stuff are really dope people that really you know I haven't done much to my car but you know they hype it up you know what I'm saying they say good good things about it and I, I do the same thing you know I go on other people's pages I message them I comment on their stuff saying how dope their builds are because they do have really dope builds so you know there's not a lot of hate in the community or anything like that but you know obviously there's every car community has like it's few things but the Lexus community I haven't really seen too many people really complain about it you know which is good it's really dope really dope community to be a part of glad i am a part of it and yeah that's another reason for this especially if you want to be in the car scene lexus community super dope super dope all right so that was a quick five reasons on the good stuff about owning a second gen lexus is250 now i want to get into a couple reasons on the bad stuff i'm not gonna lie it was kind of hard to think of bad stuff about the car just because it's such a good overall car but i do have two of them and we'll get right into that bad reason number one it's slow hey it's an is250 you know i'm pretty sure no one's really buying an is250 for speed you know what i'm saying like it's not the fastest car it's a 2.5 liter v6 barely pushing 200 crank horsepower you know so it's not the fastest car or anything like that um in terms of performance you're not getting a car that's gonna you know wow you really it's not gonna put you back in your seat but it is a comfortable car to cruise in but that thing if you know you don't if you're used to you know 300 400 500 horsepower cars <laughs> a second gen lexus is 250 is you're gonna feel like you're walking you're gonna feel like you're gonna run faster than it you know but if you don't mind that and you just want a daily car perfectly fine you don't have to mind the slowness <laughs> of a 2.5 liter v6 you know but that's point number one they're slow <laughs> reason number two the lexus is 250 is a direct injection car 
which means you have to do the whole walnut blasting to you know get the carbon out of the system and stuff like that just to make sure it doesn't you know get stuck that happens with all direct injection cards right that just means it's an extra maintenance that you got to do you know if you not on, obviously like i said before stay on top of your maintenance if you have to do it do it but if you want one less maintenance thing to do then don't get the is 250 you're gonna have to do walnut blasting stuff like that to get the carbon residue out if you don't want to do that hey not for you then <laughs> honestly those were the only two things i could really think of in my head where it wasn't good to own a is 250 do i wish i was a little faster yes do i wish i didn't have to do or worry about carbon buildup or anything like that yes but does that outweigh the other stuff not really you know what i'm saying like it's a really good daily car and i'm really enjoying it especially this is the first car i've ever modded in my life so doing that is really fun so it's not a really complaint for me but if those are stuff that you want to avoid you want a faster car and you want to avoid that maintenance then look elsewhere maybe an is350 another video so then now you might be asking well then dang who 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 is this car for then right I got you, I got you. It may or may not be you, but listen to this. In my opinion, those of you who should get a second generation Lexus IS250 are those of you who wanna get into the Lexus community for cheap, like I said, find a decent one for less than $10,000. You can find high mileage ones for $5,000. And if you don't mind going slow, right? Or if you want a reliable daily driver that still looks really good and still sounds good when it's modded. This is definitely a good car for you. It's my daily driver right now. And I get about, you know, 24, 25 miles per gallon. Um, and that's with highway and city driving. So definitely a reliable car, right? So if you need a dope, reliable daily driver, second gen is250 if you want to get into the Lexus community for cheap and you don't mind going slow second gen is250 all right y'all so that's gonna be all for this video let me know what y'all think of it let me know if y'all have an is250 if it's second gen you have a third generation Lexus let me know how y'all feel about that and yeah that's gonna be all for this video make sure to like subscribe comment whatever you want and I'll catch y'all next time. Take care, y'all. Deuces.